Oh fuck. What's up guys? I forgot to record. This is the first battle, so we didn't miss much, but you missed everything I was saying at the start of the video. I I'll talk about it after this battle, but I got some new builds, some new crazy gear. I'm running kind of fast Mikage right now with 388 speed. And I'm running Wukong in supersonic set, trying to cut into the CVs, but we'll see how it goes. I'll explain it after this battle. Okay, <laughs> didn't start out super well, but we are getting a turn on Narcissus. I don't know if I have enough damage to kill the Seek from... Well, no, no, oh my god, we can do bust, bust it first. I think we are good, I think we're good. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the ally protection. Wait, that... Wait, no way, he's gonna lock me out, right? Okay, stun. Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, okay. I think we got this. Not sure if we're gonna kill Gizmark, but maybe. Probably not. Okay, we did kill it, okay. Okay, that that was a close one. Wukong was actually super MVP here. I'll show you in a second. I'm running Wukong. Oh, and we got the Frostbite proc just to like... <laughs> Just to make him feel bad about it. Okay, easy. Nice. So what I'm doing today is... Uh, actually, let me show you this. I pulled a couple new crazy pieces just after the last Hydra. And I mean, I rolled them well, let's say. I got triple speed on shield and triple speed on weapon. And with those, I put my Mikake from 4P stone skin to... Um, five piece protection. Now she's kind of fast. <laughs> Not super fast, but at the level that when everybody assumes that I'm super slow, it might actually outspeed some teams and maybe sometimes I can stun them before they get a turn. Probably something like Galatir or Krixia with buff strip or just any lockout. Those would be the best ones because they can deal with the stone skin. Mikage is not super threatening if they have stone skin, but it's still good. It's my fastest champion right now, and <laughs> it's a big upgrade. But that's not the only fast champion we have. I also put Wukong instead of full accuracy. He's like 600 accuracy, not super high right now. But we do have 351 speed, which is kind of fast, not insanely fast. But we're also running super sonic set. Meaning that if the enemy Sifi or any other buff champion does their buffs, we are gonna get 2% speed or turn meter from each buff, which is definitely gonna add up. And the plan is that if they are running something like Sifi and Lockout, my Wukong is gonna cut in after the Sifi and able to polymorph the Lockout champion or Nuker. And maybe that way it will buy me some time and <laughs> I might actually get to use some abilities and fight back fight back against the people that go first but we'll see okay second battle is against somebody from my cluster interesting oh and we got the armands this time nice basically like i said on the first battle i think the general battle plan is that if i get the armands i'm only gonna pick one reviver if i don't they're gonna ban my on the reviver if i pick it so then I'll go with double. The issue here though is that um, I really like to go with the Narcissus, but um, yeah, we're not gonna... I'm gonna go with the Angora actually and not give him it. Give him it because if I go with my Jatsas who has bolster and we won't ban the Narcissus, which I don't know yet if I can, I'm gonna be screwed. So we'll go with the Angora. He didn't pick that hard debuffs yet anyway, so I don't know if I even need my Dutch's polymorph. And the good thing is that both Wukong and Mikage have accuracy, so they are kind of reliable polymorph champions, even without 6-star blessing, <laughs> unlike everybody else, basically. Okay, interesting. He went with the UDK and Harima, Probably has lockout or something like that. I could totally um, still go with Rados if I really want. What about if I go with <laughs> Staldus and 
Xena or maybe Helicat and one of them. Should I go with Helicat? It's gonna be super hard to kill him if Helicat is my only nuker. But I do have Wukong with buff strip and polymorph and he's probably not gonna ban a Helicat anyway because of Narsus, so I think I could actually go with this. Okay, Crixia. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna go for the Crixia ban. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. We do have Ankara, but I think... Well, I could go for... Hmm... It would be kind of interesting to ban Narsus, then I would be very tanky. Should I go for... Uh, let's try this one. I think both of these might actually work. Thing is that... Um, well, we have one Polymorph, but... I'm hoping that we're kind of tanky, so maybe we can actually deal with the lockout this way. We do have Ankara. I think Heligat is gonna get locked out, possibly, but my, I might also cut in before Rixia. It remains to be seen, though, if I have enough accuracy, but... Oh, oh okay, he opened with Immun, uh, with the A1, actually. <laughs> Not with Immun. He opened with the A1, so we couldn't cut in. That, that was smart. I didn't, didn't expect him to do it. I guess my... Wukong was fast enough that it would have gone before Quixia. So I didn't pay attention. Okay, now I'm regretting a little bit uh, <laughs> going with this ban instead of going for the Quixia. So he even buff stripped my stone skin from like both of them. That's not good. Hmm. The Quixia is super low health though. Very squishy Greek, sir. Come on, give me give me polymorph rock on Wukong and I can still get this battle. He can both he can both get polymorphed and he can weak it. Okay, neither one. Okay. Now it's kind of looking bad. I'm... Can I get the revive off? I think I can... Survive, yeah. Who do I want to revive? Oh wait, we don't have Narsus in this team, so... We're gonna get 50% turn meter, but we're not gonna... Um, get out of the CC. I think I lost this one. Should, should have just banned the Krixia. Yeah? I was trying new things and it wasn't smart. Ah, th that Harima isn't even super high damage, it's kind of shame. Mm, yeah, lo lock out this OP. <laughs> Need to get some... Mythic Champions as soon as possible. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I should have just gone for the... Weak and big mistake. If I just was fast enough, <laughs> fast enough on Wukong, I think it would have been okay. But yeah, we, we got locked down. Okay, happens, happens. I've been maybe doing too well lately, so maybe I need to get some losses. Also, I decided to skip the fusion. I'll probably make a video about it, maybe on weekend. But I kind of came to the conclusion that I don't think I will regret missing this one. Not that it's terrible, but I don't think I need it. And I don't think I even need it for Faction Guardians. I'm like 9 out of 10. <laughs> Not fully on Demon Spawn, but just like no good Demon Spawn champions right now anyway. And I have many champions there, so I'm sure I will get the last dupe eventually. I'm gonna make a video of comparing raid fusions a little bit to other games, but let's just say that other games, the fusions are way easier, and you can easily do them even if you're a new player, and you just farm the right dungeon during the right event. You don't have to like save resources beforehand or buy them, 
I feel like Raid is doing it too hard and there are supposed to be events that you always do, not ones that you need to heavily think about if you want to do them or not. Okay, again it's somebody that uh, is very familiar with me. He got both UDK and Narciss, that's, that's terrible. Maybe I can... Maybe it's not resistance UDK and I can polymorph it. I think we're just gonna go that route. Assuming that he even lets us has let, lets us have the rotos. I mean I guess he might pick it too. Okay, not yet, so we'll go with Rotos and Who else? I guess Xena. <laughs> I don't have that many options. We could go and see I like, if he doesn't have, like, um, Lazarus, I really hope he doesn't. Then Helicat could be good again. Let's go with Helicat. I'm ob obviously gonna go for the Warlord ban, and he has to pick a Nuker, so there's not too many Nukers that would counter the Helicat at this point. There is, but we got Wukong, and not everybody has Lazarus. So... What else is there? I, I guess um, I don't remember the name. The new mythic champion that uh, does the bombs. Oh, he has Lazarus. Fuck me. <laughs> Never mind. Of, of course he has. Of course he has it. Well, I mean, I guess it can still get polymorphed. We have to prey on that to win. We didn't get lucky in the last two battles with polymorph, so maybe this is the one. If we just polymorph it, at the start, then I think we basically won at that point. What? Okay, I wasn't expecting myself to be this fast. I think we're gonna put lock bar step off on them instead of trying to polymorph the UDK at start at start. That way they're not gonna get speed buff or attack buff and so on. Maybe we could have stolen the UDK, stoners can do if, if I was lucky, but this is good enough. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to use the A1 and get the extra turn, so we'll, we'll play it safe. Oh, nice. <laughs> we broke the cooldown reduction on Wukong. Imagine if I broke it on Heligat, though. <laughs> that would be so funny. He is kind of high point, so I'm sure he has pretty good gear. Okay, ah oh, fuck. Rotos had to go first. I think we're just gonna go for A1. Please don't... Okay, good. Didn't get extra turn. Okay. Oh wait, ah, uh, the A2 is on cooldown still from his abilities. Well, maybe we can steal the stone skin now. It would be OP if we could do it. No? Okay, it was resisted. Okay. So we probably wouldn't have been able to polymorph it anyway. At least Lazarus is... N oh, he still did a lot of damage. I was gonna say that at least Lazarus is not getting the attack and grid damage buffs, so it's Mitigating his damage a little bit, but Helicat still died. Yeah, okay, we got resisted. I feel like it's kind of, you know, 50-50 that some of the UDKs have high resistance and some don't, so it's not super reliable against everything, but okay. Didn't work against this guy, happens. Oh, wait. what's that guy CNL? I didn't even notice. <laughs> CNL, I have I have mentioned them many times before, but CNL, I don't know if it's this guy, probably not, because um, 
he doesn't have super high player power, he probably didn't play back then, but CNL was the, the clan that was selling rank 1 trophies for money, <laughs> and they were just boosting people with um, losing on purpose to their defense teams, and Plarium had to change the system a little bit in Classic Arena because of them. Well, it was actually more complicated than that. Basically, they were they were doing the boost for many months, and they were selling it every time, very openly and not even hiding it. I don't understand why Plarium didn't just ban their entire clan. They could have easily done it since they were not hiding that fact. And even if they were hiding, of course, Plarium could find it out if they really wanted to. But they didn't do anything about it for a good while, and then. Murdering kind of as the as the um, the hero that we needed kind of took took like took the matter to his own hands and they basically boosted I think it was him or somebody else they boosted somebody I think it was his account once on purpose to prove a point and try to like get Parium to fix it and he made a video about it and then Parium instantly fixed it and or maybe fix is not the right word but they tried to implement fix against it, which is that you can't attack the same person more than 10 times a day, or if you do, then there's 15 minute cooldown every time that you can attack again. I think we want to go with the UDK, right? Actually, the Mikaki could be kind of interesting here, the... Hmm... Taras might lose the buffs, that, that might be super good. If he didn't pick the Wukong, I probably would pick it in this matchup myself. Okay, well, let's... Even if, even if that was a new Wukong and he picks UDK, it's not a problem, but I think that might be, yeah, a support Wukong. Okay, we're definitely gonna go with the Harima ban. Now that my Mikage is very fast, I think it's very plausible that she's gonna cut in before Taras and hopefully buff strip his team. Or at least as many buffs that we can before she gets polymorphed. What? She actually went first. Can we just straight up kill the Sifi? I mean, we could stun it, but I feel like we can actually just kill it. Right? Surely we can. It's not very tanky. Yeah, Ro Rodos didn't even take a turn there. Okay, that's the power of speed. Nice. I don't get these kind of things very often. <laughs> it happens to me all the time that enemy just locks me out and I lose instantly. Or just, you know, buff strips me with Marius and nukes me with somebody else. Sometimes it feels super oppressive and like I can't do anything against it, but... I kind of did it against him. I mean, not like I kin killed him like instantly, but... Um, wait, what should I... No, I think we're just gonna hit the Taras. I'm not even gonna kill the Wukong. But we did take the Sifi out instantly. And now, now he can do a big AoE nuke on Taras. Mm, and it's pretty much over now if the Wukong is in a nuke build. Because... Um, we can just take our time with Trotos and safely beat this team. We, like, maybe otherwise we wouldn't, but because the Ankor passive goes on the champion with highest crit damage, not the champion with, um, not Narsus automatically, which means that it's gonna protect Trotos from Taras stuns. Even if I hit the, the, uh, the marriage canal, and Taras just a counter attack from A2, we're not gonna get stunned, so... If I just get... Oh, it's a nuke build. It is actually a nuke build. Okay, interesting. But yeah, I can probably just now kill the Maritska and then Sifi, assuming that I get Helm Smasher proc, otherwise it might still survive. Let's see. Okay, I think that probably actually was without the proc, so... If it was with the proc, I think it would have been like... A 200 plus K damage. Okay, surrender. Good. 
2 2. We had a 2 battle loss streak there. I, I think the first battle, at least, I made a massive mistake on that one, so could have gone better. Okay, Plarium is he's not letting me queue a battle. This happens. Okay, let's see what's... Oh, come on, so many seconds. Let's see what's going on on the Reddit then. What? We still can't queue. Okay, nice. Yeah, r r running out of... Wait, you can see it. R running out of inventory space is a big issue. So it's somebody was, or actually two people were just recently asking me if I can do a gear cleanse. And I told them that I, I don't do gear cleanses. They they can take so crazy amount of time if you like if you actually roll everything that is potentially a good piece. I just I refuse to do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask like million bucks because it takes me like seven hours to do a gear, gear cleanse. So I just avoid doing them. Anyway, uh, maybe we'll go with actually just Narsus and Angkor straight up off the bat, instead of picking a Polymorph Champion. Oh yeah, I, th I feel like they have done a Shamal guaranteed event. I think this is maybe like third time they do it. I feel they did it multi multiple times already. He's usable, but there's many other things nowadays, and nobody's really using it anymore. Okay, with Chuchen and Mikage, I kind of feel like it's gonna be faster than my than my um, than my Mikage. I mean, with Chuchen and Armands, I can only ban one of them. Maybe I'm not gonna pick Mikage. And that. That seems to be a new, cr new Wukong, so let's go with UDK. Okay, nothing, nothing else interesting. By the way, I hope you guys good luck with the tomorrow's Harima event. I'm sure I'm not the only one that is hoping to get Harima, and I'm sure many people want to empower her, even if you already have it. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be either Darthus or Mika. We need we need to get Polymorph and <laughs> pray for the proc. I would have picked Mikage, otherwise I was kind of interested to do it, but I don't think there's any chance that my Mikage is gonna go before the Shu Chen, and since it's not in 4-piece stone skin, and I think it has like crit damage gloves, it's super squeezy and easily gonna get one shot. Kind of like people often do, there's nothing wrong with that going for max speed, but I think for this specific matchup, I don't, I don't have faith that my Mika is faster than him. If it was, like this could have been super easy battle for me if I rolled the dice, but not gonna do it this time. Okay, if my Narcissus can just take this one hit, then I think we're good. Okay, <laughs> reaction broke. That wasn't too ah, dude. <laughs> It, that's the third turn that his nukers take before me, assuming that the Wukong is not the nukers, otherwise it's like the fourth or... Yeah, okay, uh... 
He doesn't have any reviver, so... Don't really have to go for the A3 here. Let's do the A2. But I think it's over, though. We're just gonna die to the nuke. <laughs> damn, damn. Lazarus barely survived. Maybe my Ankara can take a hit, but... Well, I guess he has to take two hits. I think it's over. <laughs> no? Okay. Ma yeah, okay. Maybe we can still do it. Yeah, g going first is OP. That's why, <laughs> that's why I'm trying to get better at speed. But yeah, there's no way I was gonna be faster than him. God damn it! So close, so close. I feel like my UDK if he wasn't locked out, maybe he could do the AOE nuke and kill both of his nukers. Maybe he could solo the team, but nah, no, no, not gonna happen. I kind of do feel like, so far, in any battle, we didn't really get the Polymorph procs that we wanted. We could have easily won with Polymorph. So there's that, of course. But we almost did it even without that. Okay, another person from OC Cluster. But yeah, it's painful, I hate to lose. But I have high hopes for for upcoming uh, Harry my event and upcoming mythical event, so... I was just talking about it the other day with somebody that got very lucky with mythicals, that is not like a big spender in the game, but he's doing super well now because he happened to pull a couple good mythicals. It's almost like a catch-up mechanic right now that People used to wail for stuff like Duchess and Kaimar and Rodos and so on. And then after that it was, you know, Void Champions, Sifi, and like maybe Sifi Taras and Mariska are super OP still. And Shu Chen, if you're fast. But Muticals is the new new big thing, and if you just get a couple good Muticals and you have good gear. Then you already have like super insane account and it makes up from missing like void champions and like um, the old best stuff in the game let's say mm, yeah i think we'll go with this yeah maybe we maybe we can polymorph this wukong uh this <laughs> this udk Again, I'm not built on resistance, but Wukong kind of does two roles against this guy. Not only might, might, me pot might we potentially polymorph the UDK. Hmm, I could ban it too. I'm almost feeling like banning it here. Maybe that's the safer. Let's, yeah, let's go for the ban. But outside of that, we can also buff strip them and strip the Taras of its damage. And, and... Harima, of course, both of them are gonna lose damage, so it's gonna help me survive a lot. Let's see if the CV opens with A1. Okay, <laughs> this guy didn't. Nice. And he doesn't have protection set on the CV, so we could, of course, just pull him off one of the Nogars, but we're just gonna go for a buff strip and. Okay, nice. Hope we don't get polymorph. Now Taras can't use the AoE and Harima, even if my Rotos wasn't in stone skin, it wouldn't one-shot it anymore. Yeah, he, he had to go for the A2 on Taras because the AoE isn't worth it if he doesn't have the boss. Two turns stun and asleep, but he tanked all of the damage. Hmm. I think if we polymorph the Harima now, Nartus is gonna kill everybody else, so let's do that. The Wukong is kind of good utility if you can 
if you can actually get turns and not be locked out and get some like polymorphs. That's why I decided to try the supersonic set today instead of going for maximum accuracy. I think we're yeah we're good, we're good. There's no way we can lose at this point. I I've said that before I lost but mostly against Wukong so I don't think it's gonna happen against this guy. Ah oh, come on, getting kind of close now I have to. Okay we're we're good. <laughs> Making me panic there, but nah, it wasn't even close. As as long as uh, we revived the Taros, it just the Narsus, it just made the fight faster, so it's good. But even if we re revived like, <laughs> as long as we didn't revive the Wukong on Ankara with Auto, we we were good. By the way, if you weren't on the Monday stream, I did a poll about the, the fusion and only 48% of my viewers are going for it. And I think it was like maybe 300 people voted or something like that. So I think it's kind of bad indication if most people are not doing it, especially when they are like endgame people that can do it if they want and not new players. That kind of partly swayed me to just skip it. I started really thinking about it in my head that I'm not gonna use this fusion, so... Why am I gonna put all of the effort for it? Instead I can chill, save resources and do other stuff. Now I don't have to worry about my gems either, I can just buy, <laughs> buy ancients with all of my gems tomorrow and hopefully get Harima. Dude. If we get Harima, it's gonna be so bonkers. I have so good defense snook gear. The thing is that just it's wasted on Staltus, and I don't even have four piece stone skin on Staltus, but the damage is insane. But Staltus doesn't have utility and the damage is low in the first place, so it just can't shine on him. But it will be it will shine with Marius, of course. Hmm. Wukong or Duchess? Or should I go with UDK and Rotos? Yeah, let's go. Oh, fuck. Not Necrot. Rotos. Okay, good. I don't want to let him have UDK here because there's no way that I can ban it. And I want to pick Rotos because. <laughs> mostly because he has the polymorph. That's why, really. And probably we're, yeah, probably we're gonna pick Duchess as the last champion and not Wukong. Just to have a reviver in this battle. I think he's probably gonna ban the Duchess too. I I would probably do that if I was him. Okay, Narsus ban, and I think that's probably a support Wukong. Maybe? Maybe he's running triple Nogar. Who knows? Wukong Harima can be kind of good combination, so... Could totally be a Nogar. That's like basically the... The safe way to get the Wukong in battle. And Wukong is super strong. The issue is just that he literally can't win against Harima. Okay, it's not a nuke build. And he stole two of our stone skin. That's kind of unlucky. And happens to be the two champions that don't have polymorph. Polymorph too, so we didn't even have a chance to proc that. I wanna hit the, uh, Marius, 
but we, it's not gonna die anyway with Harimal passive and defense buff. Better hit the Sifi and steal more HP. But we we may get enfeebled now, so... Okay, nice. Duchess was just in time. He only has the A2 now, so I, I think we're we are good. We can get some Tens and Rotos. Oh, he got Polymorph. He's not gonna get the boss trick back instantly, so... No, oh, wait. It's, it's over already. It's over. As long as I can get one turn on Rotos, we're gonna one shot the Sifi. We have attack buff and we already did one A2. Even if we don't proc Helm Smasher, there's no way the Sifi doesn't die. And if it if we proc it, it's gonna be like, I don't know, closer to 300k damage. Let, let's see. Okay, that, that was definitely without the proc, but that, that was good enough. Way low B. Okay, nice. I feel like this guy was maybe maybe in OC cluster and Chains clan, but may maybe I'm just wrong. I feel like I've seen this name many times before. Oh, it's a Russian guy. Not sure, maybe he's just active. He's pro yeah, I think he's a plat pusher now, now that I think about it. By the way, you probably, <laughs> you definitely can't see it, but I have been trying to, trying to be a good boy, and I have been like for the last um, three weeks, I have been going uh, either jogging or gym or both of them every day. <laughs> Not that that's anything to brag about, but I have been lazy for the last several years and kind of out of the shape and starting to. <laughs> starting to get some belly fat so I'm proud of myself that I finally started doing something. The, the ironic part is there's literally like a gym in my building <laughs> and it's free to use for me and um, it's literally the opposite of my door or it's like the other side of hallway and like one stairs down and there's a gym. <laughs> so it's so dumb that I haven't been going to the gym. I, I moved to this apartment like a year ago, but I, I have gone to the gym before, but not, not actively. Now, now, now I'm just gonna force myself to either gym or jog every day. The gym even has like two floors and on the second floor there's like running mats, so it's not even gonna be issue on winter, to be honest. And where I live, it's kind of, you know, it's perfect place for, <laughs> for like, um, Sports. There's all kinds of sports things kind of close to me, like clubs and so on. But also, there's like um, skiing tracks that are like right next to me, and many like um, choking roads into the like woods that are like super nice, super nice sightseeing roads with like multiple. Um, what's the word? Not lake. Well, what's like the small version of a lake? Not lake. It's not. Um, that's to anything else, just a small pond, that's what I mean. There's a lake and there's many ponds in between the choking routes and just like forest and pond and lake, so it's pretty nice. Um, let's go with Mikake and one support and pick the nuker as last. Necrot or Vulcong. I think we'll go with Necrot. Yeah, let's go with Necrot. He might go for Angora Ban. We only have one Reviver, but I'm either gonna go with Stalos or Xena, and hopefully we can kill the Rotos with the ally attack. That's what I'm thinking.
Mm, yeah, both of them are strong affinity against both of his Nugars too, so that might be good. Too bad that neither one of them has. Polymorph, but um... Mm. I, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's go with Xena though, yeah. Xena is gonna do more damage since he's getting the city boss. Both of them are gonna be squishy anyway, and Staldus doesn't have 4 beast stone skin. Staldus A2 might be better against Rotos since it would be a double hit, but I think outside of that, Xena is the choice. Ah, come on, this is like third third Gizmark we meet today, and um, no, in none of them we got Polymorph. Okay, to be fair, here we only got one champion with Polymorph in the team. Oh, wasn't expecting to... Oh yeah, he opened with the A1, that's why. He, he didn't do the turn meter boost because of Xena. We're just gonna one-shot Rotos if he doesn't rock reaction. Maybe we can even do it through reaction. Okay. Surely... Ah, oh, what? I was expecting the Sifi to die. But surely we can't lose at this point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, we can. L let's see about that. Gizmog is so scary when he goes to that. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut one shot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we can. <sighs> if we just got Polymorph, we can't get goddamn Polymorph. This is like... Uh, he did so many debuffs and we had like uh, one, two... I think that was like the fourth. It's, it's not the third battle. That was the third battle against Gizmark we have today. And in a single one, none of them got polymorphed. So that sucks. Unlucky. Now, now, I'm, now I'm a little bit pissed. I need, I need some good RNG in some battles. By the way, I want to check one thing. I mean... <laughs> I'm kind of maybe prematurely being excited, but I haven't even checked. I know that I don't have 4 piece stone skin, sadly, for Marius. That I have checked because I know I'm gonna get him, but what about Harima? Can I get Harima in stone skin? By the way, this is a stupid thing. So you can check a specific faction, but you can't like check only stone skin accessories. Why not? Because that function would actually be very important when you're looking for specific sets anyway. Like, let's face it, the normal accessories are totally, like, they are gonna go out of the meta. At some point, you're basically never gonna see top players use them. Pretty much always, even if you have much crappier stats, it's much better to use one of the special set accessories. And there's so many different things you can do at this point. You can, like, get damage immunity with like um, reaction or stone skin you can get more damage with slayer or merciless you can get re revenge procs with revenge you can get um you can get <laughs> you can cleanse with cleansing you can refresh with refresh and then you also have like uh, protection and supersonic sets that can give you speed so there's like so many different utility to get with accessories as long as you have some special accessories, you're never gonna use normal ones, even if they are much better stat-wise. Okay, that's not good. Looks like we have like one really bad drink that I will use if I just had a second piece, but have I rerolled this? Oh, I have, I'm, I'm that desperate. Yeah, we, we need to get one more piece for Harima, I guess. Even though Harima is tanky, you still definitely want to get 4 piece stone skin to stall as much as possible and hopefully not get CC'd by Galatir and so on. But the, the build is still gonna be crazy, even without stone skin. I mean, we're gonna lose the damage if we go with the stone skin anyway, unless I get good luck later. So, so there's that, I'm definitely gonna have great two-piece cool i have i have so many like uh pseudo guard 
Deviant Stoker pieces on Cruel. I'm not even sure how many, but I think I have at least like um, I think I have one helmet and maybe like four shields that have like all of the good substats for Deviant Stoker and no rolls and bad stats. And then I have good. I have insane. I, I have uh, like pseudo guard boots as well with no wasted stats. And I think I have chest too. Yeah, not gloves, but I think I have other bottom pieces. And I guess weapons too, you know. Even ones with attack and like the other good ones. Since you can't get defense on weapon. But yeah, I think I have like really good pieces on every other defense item on Cruel, except gloves. Yeah. So we, we definitely can make a really good 2 piece set. I probably go for very fast build and sacrifice the damage a little bit if I get the Harima. I think I have a shield with triple speed on Cruel now that I think about it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll double check after the fight. Maybe it's on Stone Skin. Either on Cruel or Stone Skin. Do I want to go with the UDK? We're gonna have so little polymorph here. No, okay. Let's do this. Wukong and who else? Wukong and Dots. Let's go, let's go with that. We'll save the Rotos for last. If he doesn't pick it, I'll pick it and hopefully avoid the UDK. And this way I'll have tons of polymorph if I don't pick UDK. And if he does pick it, then we just... <laughs> we have to suck it up and pick Staldos, I guess. Dinishak, interesting. Oh, our base. But we have we have a support Wukong. I, I don't think he thought that. I think he thinks it's a Nuker. Our base is not... Our base is actually gonna be kind of good against support Wukong. As long as we can survive the bombs, of course. Well, no, we're totally gonna survive them. What am I saying? We have the supersonic Wukong, it's gonna cut in and um, I just stripped the attack buff or I guess uh, put the block buff debuff on the Nishak and it's not gonna do damage because of that. He only has our base in Polymorph too and I think is that oh yeah it's before Gnishak in turn order okay. So he could still technically Polymorph us even though only one champion has it. If he picked Gnishak before our base, I think we would be set, but I guess we can still lose. I mean, he could open with A1 on the city. Okay, yeah, not gonna do it. I guess that our base is very fast too. Uh, I already thought that he's gonna go before us, and our base, of course, also does 10 meter boost, so I'm kind of, you know, surprised that we got in, but then again, Wukong gets turn meter from all of their buffs, so I guess it makes sense. Okay, no way we can lose now. Nisha can't bomb us and Taras can't one shot us, so we're good. Probably my Rotos can survive the bombs, but maybe he can. Can he? There's no way Duchess is gonna die to it. But is Rotos gonna die or, or not? I don't, I don't think so, not not without that attack buff. Oh, okay, he did, but, yeah, okay. Fine. Close, I think, was it like 33k? I think my Rodos is like 64k health or something like that. If I had like two or three more thousand HP on him, he would have survived it. Would be funny if the, if the sheep could get <laughs> Could get uh, the revive on Death Proc, and he would have to be one more turn in sheep or lose the turn meter because of it. Okay, he still has the stone skin, but oh, oh, and now we got the oh no no we're good as long as we don't get um, resisted here we're good. Okay, didn't nice. 
I don't think people usually build our base with super high resistance. And this guy was running... I think I don't think we can kill the Taras. This guy was running super fast our base anyway, so there's no way it has enough resistance. Well, maybe if he had like insane gear, but... N not without like much more points and red avatar and so on. If he had that good gear, he would have like many mythicals and he wouldn't use Knishark. Okay, that's a win. W well done, Wukong. I think, yeah, I think this was totally the right choice. I don't, I don't think Supersonic Wukong is a very popular build, so maybe there's some food for thought. Maybe you should consider trying this. I kind of recommend it. Even even without testing, uh, like, you, you can... I mean, I'm not saying that it works every time, but it definitely has its use, and it, I think it's very, very good build. I didn't think about it before, but I think it... It's totally viable rule instead of going full accuracy. There's another build that I thought that would be super good with 4-piece or 5-piece um, supersonic. I think you get the turn meter boost effect on 4-piece, but I think 5-piece gives you more speed, so it could be either one of them. But I was thinking that if you build your Marius with supersonic and lethal, that could actually be insanely strong. And I already checked, I don't I don't have supersonic accessories to do it. But since Marius can buff strip stone skin very reliably without getting polymorphed, um, if the enemy is doing any kind of buffs and you have very fast Marius and you have him in supersonic and lethal, then you're pretty much always gonna go before their nukers, even if they're faster and get rid of their boss, and that could be super good. Something that I would I would try if you can do it on your account, and I'll definitely make a video if I ever get the chance. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved it up, up for... Um, for the video, but it is what it is. You 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 can you can make your own video of that before I can do it, I guess. Maybe, maybe it's not as bad as the as the um, hacking drama. Okay, yes, insane amount of buffs on this team and cooldown reset so Taras is gonna hit insanely hard we definitely have to go with Wukong again yeah I, th I think we're just gonna go with with the same team this might be my new favorite team instead of going with double reviver as long as I get armaments I can totally pull off this team unless they have like two fast lockouts which he technically could have in this team with Galatir and Quixia. It's very rare that they are not gonna ban the Armands. In this fight, if both of them are faster than my Armands, he could do it, but if I ban Quixia, it's still gonna be RNG with the Galatir if he can get the buff ship or not. I think we're gonna go with the Quixia ban. Imagine if all of these champions cooldowns get reset. We, we don't want to see that happening. Wukong isn't in stone skin though, so... He probably will get locked out before he gets a turn. Th that might be Isu, because... Taras is gonna hit so hard. Oh, okay, we went first. Wasn't expecting this. He does have Glens on... Um, on Kalatri. I think we're just gonna Polymorph Taros. I think that's gonna be the way to go.
how much polymorph does he have? Everybody except R base. Too bad. He could even put R base in it since it has accuracy, but I guess it's in intimidating presence because he he probably runs like speed teams with Sifi. Often Sifi might be in intimidating presence or temporal chains. I don't. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't think we have enough damage to kill the Thanos, but he has the taunt anyway. Okay. <laughs> Can we steal everything? Okay, nice. Getting Polymorph doesn't even matter at that point. Wukong is kind of funny in that sense, though, since he has the passive. Oh, he has Frostbite, that's so funny. He's running 2 piece Frostbite. I hope I hope he did it because of my videos. <laughs> I never see anybody running it, but even if you get Polymart on Wukong, it doesn't really matter since he's gonna come back. On other champions, often game is over if, if that happens. Mm. Uh, what? What am I gonna hit second? Uh, what? Okay, I should have done A2, that was my bad. I thought I would have enough damage with the A3, but I was... Uh, I had the attack debuff, so I, I should have seen that coming. Should, should have done the A2. That, that was a dumb mistake. I hope it doesn't cost me the battle. Might. No, Harima went before us because of the turn meter reduction from our base like from the I can't recall evil eye from the evil eye mastery I mean she also does have the lockout on a1 in in this form okay double sheep Lo love to see it but Harry might might get um you know, Taras got early out of the cheap because of this. Stupid cheap ally attack. It's a funny mechanic that if you have multiple multiple sheeps, they do the ally attack. Ah, we got locked out. I think it's over. I don't think we can survive long enough on Anchor. Ah, I, I should have also hit the Taras here. Yeah. I don't know if that would have reduced our attack enough anyway, but yeah, I lost that one. I think I might have been able to win it if I just did A2 on Taras instead of A3. I think the A2 probably would have done enough damage. M maybe not, but I think probably. He did have the attack debuff and Harima passive, but Taras was super low HP. Yeah, it, it was definitely winnable though. I don't know if the if the Armand's anchor is like a bad bad opener pick to not have any polymorph. Let's go with Wukong and Narsus. I don't think this guy is gonna pick Ankara anyway. He has so many good champions that I don't think he will do it. Pretty often if I pick Narsus without Ankara, they're gonna pick it. Okay, hmm. <laughs> and he has pl plus four, uh, what's the name? Mesomel. Which is, he obviously picked to counter the Wukong and block revive it. I wonder if I should pick UDK against the Mesomel. Maybe Duchess would be good for the whale. Should I just go with Double Reviver? It feels kind of dumb to go with Double Reviver. <laughs> double Reviver against Block Revive, but Duchess could do Whale and Angora could 
unlock out me because I think he's gonna pick uh, lockout champions. I think we're gonna go with this. Maybe Mikage might be a good option here, but let's go with this. Mikage is super low health too, though, so the Mesomegal could easily block revive it. U UDK might have been an option too, since Mesomel is gonna do a double hit with the block revive. Okay, Grixia and Lazarus. Then again, Mesomel could potentially weak hit against Rotos. That is an option. I think he's gonna be very fast too. He I'm sure he has faction guardians on everything. And he also gets the speed um, empowerment bonus on everybody except Grixia. So he's probably gonna have like a good 25 speed. Oh and plus the plus the blessing. He's, I think he's gonna have like 20 to 40 more speed than me on, on the Nogars. He might have like really fast 300 speed Nogars. Okay, not that fast, I mean, but he does have the turn meter boost. Ah, Rotos got locked out, Angora didn't, but I would rather have it the other way. Okay, good, we got the polymorph proc, but I think Rotos is just gonna die, unless we get the weak hit. Okay, never mind, he's not opening with that. Mesomel or Grixia. I think we go for Mesomel. I don't think I can kill either one anyway. Oh, almost, almost. That's that's bad. If I killed it, it would have been way better. That's bad. And he's gonna get cooldowns back instantly. Mm, I think we lost it. There's just... yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I, I think he's just gonna kill everybody on the next nook. Even the Dutchess. Wait, if Dutchess goes first and gets the whale up, maybe she can survive it. Oh, 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 fuck. He got the stone skin duration increased. If he didn't... Oh, he got polymorph from the A1. Well, we needed the extra turn too. Ooh. We barely survived. He has two champions in polymorph. If he doesn't get unpolymorph with the ally attack, it's good. Our base got... But I think that's okay. Hmm. Revivers are gonna die now, but maybe I can get a turn with my Nukers. I could block revive the No, he he has the He has the goddamn Stone Skin bound up again instantly. I was gonna say I could block revive the Mesomel, but I can probably kill it with the AoE at least. If I can wait, I'm uh, I don't have it back yet. Never mind. Oh and he already has the lockout, okay. Okay, we're definitely done. <laughs> it's kind of hard to survive against this kind of barrage and getting non-stop polymorph. Okay, maybe if we don't weak it here. Come on, please, not weak it. Okay, good. And then what? I think we can kill Mesomel. Does he have evil eye on the A1. If we go before Lazarus, it's over. Okay. He didn't have the evil eye. I, we're good. Uh, oh, no! 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 I I thought we would have enough damage. Uh, that definitely was without the Helm Smasher proc. That sucks. No! I think we lost. I, I, I want to win this fight so badly. 
against the full primal team. God damn, Lazarus passive. And now, now he's okay. Not yet. I was gonna say now he's gonna get the cooldown reset. And our base is gonna do the do the stone skin down any second. Or okay, is he gonna lock us out? No. Okay, no. Please give me extra turn. Please give it. I really need it. No. Okay. That's that's it. That we lost. So close. So close. Sucks. So close. Yeah. There's no way we can tank this. Well, it was really good try. I mean, we almost made it. <laughs> Th that does look kind of intimidating, having like, dude, I don't have a, I don't have a single, single nuker plus four. This guy has two nukers as mythical champions plus four. Think about that. <laughs> that that's so crazy. My highest empowerment is plus two. This guy has two plus four mythicals. What's his player power? 40 mil, it's not even that high. I was expecting it to be like 90 million player power, but 40 million is kind of low actually, considering that he has multiple plus four mythicals. Anyway, <laughs> well, I, I do say that I'm like 14, 14 million player power, but there's a lot of people that are way higher than 40 mil though. I think uh, I have to double check, but I think isn't Timo like 90 million player power or something like that? Can't complain. I mean, we're not winning every battle, but. We're having very close fights against very strong accounts, so very small difference and we could we could have gotten like five more wins today and be a massive baller. And if we get the Harima tomorrow, hopefully, it's gonna be so much better. Can't wait. So it's gonna be another big project to, I mean, again, I'm talking like I'm gonna get it, but getting the polymorph on Harima would be kind of big deal. I already have it on Rotos, and I'm soon gonna have it on Narsus, and if I get, get Harima, I will definitely want to get it on her as well. Okay, Wukong and UDK. Mikake? And Dotsus. Probably last pick is gonna be Stalus or probably Stalus, but might pick Sela. That's basically all of the options that I have. Um, Heligat and Rotos are a no go against this guy. And that's a definitely a nuker Wukong since it is in Phantom Touch, despite being in Polymorph. That's a that's a bold choice. If I had it that six star blessing, I would definitely use Polymorph as a nuke build. Not only I think it's just flat out better, not like Wukong needs more damage, but also then you couldn't know if it's a nuke build or a support build. Xena or Stalus. Uh, mm, I don't think either one is really gonna matter here. Let's go with Stalus. They are pretty, they are pretty much the same at this point, so there's not a massive nuance to them. This guy is not putting buffs anyway and not gonna proc the Xena passive. Damn, Rotos is in stone skin, so we can't get rid of it. I guess I could try to 
get rid of it with A2 and then switch form. I, I guess we'll do it. Oh, we got rid of it. Nice. Okay, everybody got locked out. Maybe we can unlock out somebody. Come on. Mikake? But that doesn't really do anything or... Mm, maybe we could do, I guess, the ally attack, but okay. <laughs> it's kind of over already. We're locked out and we have no protection. E everybody keeps telling me that lockout sucks and <laughs> it's uh, it's not that big deal anymore, but you know, if you don't have mythical nukers, then it's impossible to play against. Sucks balls. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. Okay, finally. <laughs> it took it took a while to get a queue. It was a couple of queues before it. Okay, CHQ matchup. It's a known arena clan. One of the few arena clans in the game. I'm kind of surprised there is not more of them. I mean, it's basically like mad Aspie um chq and i guess maybe like and bf and my clan is there any other ones yeah th that that's like all of the arena clans in the game it's literally couple clans of course there's other other clans that do pvp too but i mean like ones that are hyper arena focused i think it's only those clans yeah there's no other ones no, I, I don't think so. I'm sure somebody's gonna say I'm wrong in the comments. Feel, feel free to correct me, but I think that's pretty much it. I mean, there's other clans that has had historically like people pushing plat that are not like purely arena focused, like uh, I don't know, Gallifrey, the Ancient Order, Chok and Ave. But I think those are pretty much the main arena only focus class anyway Marius okay maybe Wukong can can be my way to beat this as as much polymorph as possible but if he if he doesn't let me pick Rodos and he bans Maybe that's just, then we're only gonna have one polymorph, so it's potentially not gonna be a lot. Oh, he went with the rooster. I haven't seen it that many times. I, I have battled it before, but not too many times. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not the mythic that I hope to get as my first one. And I, yeah, I guess we're gonna go with Rodos, of course. <laughs> As a Rotos main and long time Rotos HR, what else am I gonna do? He doesn't have Harriman UDK. It's not too bad. I mean, we're still getting locked out and we might get enfeebled and slept by the CV A1. But if I can do like a single ability with Rotos, it's game over. We win instantly. Kind of like the guy who went with Wukong against me. It was just one Wukong A2 and the the game was over. It's gonna be like that if I can use an ability. Hmm. Yeah, y Yumeko was his fastest champion and not CV. That that kind of sucks for us because. Wukong got locked out. Maybe it's like a protection city. I guess it's kind of tanky. Yeah, it's not a very squeezy one. Ah, okay. <laughs> looks bad, looks bad. Yeah, Rotos survived it, but it's a triple hitter, so he's not gonna get extra turn. And now the rooster is gonna finish the job. If 
Gnarsis can get a reaction rock. Oh, we didn't, but we survived it anyway. Nice. Too bad we don't have the A3. I probably would have rather took it because we would... Oh, never mind. We Marius only has two buffs. Never mind. I don't think we could kill the Yumeko with A3. Maybe, but it would be close. Wait. Uh, I'm confused. Does he have like a reflection on passive? There's no reflection ability. I, I guess he has reflection. I, I'm totally not sure. I don't think Wukong has the abilities yet. Yeah, he doesn't. Oh, we could... No, no, he has immunity. I was gonna say that we could stun the rooster, but now we can't. Wait, how did he... How does that work? Why did he get stunned when he has the Ankara passive? I thought that couldn't happen. Nah. That's a weird interaction. Okay, uh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> we didn't get Polymorph, but even if we did at that point, I don't think that would have saved us. Warlock Pop. <laughs> I I like that name. I, w I wonder what he plays like. You know, Warlock is in every single game. Is he like a D&D player? Does he play World of Warcraft? Where does the name come from? I used to be Hunter main in World of Warcraft back in the day. Big arena enjoyer there as well. I kind of played Warlock a little bit on the side. Every time Destruction Warlock, which is like, a, they have like three different specialities and they are a little bit different. Every time Destruction Warlock was in meta, I liked to play it. Didn't really like playing Affliction, but um, I used to, I used to, I think some of my best arena finishes were with, um, I don't even remember what that combo was called, it's so long time ago, but like a Reviver, um, Affliction Warlock and a Survival Hunter. Basically it's like a team of um, damage over time and a CC. That's not like... Um... Okay, that's just... Ah, oh, fuck. That, that's not always in the meta. It's kind of... Very rarely was that in meta because... It was always either destruction or... Affliction on Warlocks. Like, one of those was usually the, the good spec to play. But on Hunter... Survival most often was the worst spec, and usually either Beastmaster or Marksman was better, at least in those days. So it only was in a couple of times during I played that it was meta to run the team, but it went really well when, when it was meta. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of afraid to go with Rotos on this battle, I'm not gonna lie. But what can what can Xena do here? I think we're just gonna No, let's try let's give Xena a chance. Let's give it let's give her a chance. I think I think we lost against Bob either way. I used to also like I said, survival hunter was never really Top dog, or very rarely. It, it was often like the PvE spec, but not the PvP spec, let's put it that way. But even when it wasn't meta for like 3 versus 3, I used to play Survival Hunter often in 2 versus 2, which is kind of not considered like a competitive format in World of Warcraft, and it's very boring to a lot of people. But when you don't have a full team up, you you play it. <laughs> I used to play a lot of 2v, 2v2s and Hunter was really never like, you know, it was always good for 3 versus 3 but it was basically never a meta champion for 2 versus 2, so. Okay. 
Okay, I think we just instantly go for the second form. <laughs> Everybody resisted, but I guess we reduced the Wukong turn meter a little bit. He doesn't get the attack buff on this team, so he does cut a little bit of his damage. Maybe that's the way we can survive. Uh, yeah, let's go with A3. I think it should be enough to kill the Wukong. 84k. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much damage. Do I want to use the... No, I don't want to use... Xena does get 10% more attack every time I use the cooldowns. That's what I'm thinking. But let's just waste A2. Just to get more attack. Even though it doesn't do anything. But well, apart from that, but no damage. Nice, nice. Xena has the lightning gauge. I don't know if it was the polymorph or the lightning gauge, but... She didn't lose any buffs. Too bad he doesn't have anyone else squeezing the team apart from Wukong. If I could get... Wait, wait. Oh, never mind. Now it's looking good. We have a... Okay, we're good. We're good. If I can get double kill on Xena, we're gonna get the cooldowns back. But I don't think we can get it now because of the passive from... Um, from Galatir though. Oh, okay, never mind. Is it on the other form? I guess it's on the other form. My bad. So confusing when they have like 15 different abilities. But it's not over yet. <laughs> it's never over against the Wukong teams. As as long as the battle hasn't ended, it's never over. Okay, even my Xena survived that a little bit. Surprising, actually. What? He's rendered? I guess he doesn't have the attack buff on the Wukong and maybe not the best gear, but I feel like he... He could have won it if he just survived for a little bit and got one A2 on with Helm Smasher Brock. I think it would have been enough damage to kill me. At least my Wukong on Nuke build would, would have definitely done it. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have surrendered if I, if I was him. I think he could have still won the battle. I'm not super big, big fan of like a pity wins, so I would have rather battled it at the end. But yeah, even though we didn't demolish the mega mega whales today in live arena i would definitely recommend you guys to try the wukong build i think the supersonic is gonna be an interesting niche instead of just going perception if you go with support builds that is i think most people are still using the nuker but it is getting less popular at one time i used to see a lot of support wukongs then I didn't see it for like months and months, and now maybe half of the Wukongs that I meet are in the support build. Maybe we'll go with Xena again. Siegfried, that's scary. Nah, no, definitely not Se not Xena again, Siegfried. We're gonna go with uh, Rolos. Pretty sure he's gonna ban my Narsus, so it's gonna be an issue. We can, yeah, we can ban the UDK and. He's totally gonna ban the Narsus.
Let's hope that he doesn't have resistance on the UDK. Nah, he does. Fuck. Haven't seen Python in a while, it's kind of funny that he's running it. But he has kind of tanky team and it does add heals and damage mitigation, so... I don't think it's like terrible against us in this battle actually. Oh and yeah, he's saving the clans until we do the buff ship, but we might do it... Might as well do it instantly because we might steal some of the stone skin. He doesn't have attack and defense buffs though. Even though those snookers, or not the Harima damage, but the secret damage is insane. And Harima is super strong, just in general. But without the attack and defense boss, maybe we can stall long enough. I, I mean, I do have double reviver, and my wheels are insanely tanky. So maybe we can do it. Ah, oh, he has a lot of life harvest. Th th that's a weird thing where you can instantly... <laughs> Instantly notice if somebody is a whale or not. If somebody is a whale, they, they basically never have life harvest. Because if you have six star blessings or speed teams, you're not really gonna use it. Like you're either gonna have everybody in polymorph, or you might have like one person in temporal chains and another one in intimidating presence. You will never have life harvest in those teams. And most teams don't have any life harvest, but then a lot of teams have like a couple of them. Basically lo low spenders like this guy, uh, I assume. Okay, didn't get it even on the second time. Yeah, th th this kind of the, the other side of the supersonic that it might be good in some some of those niche matchups, but it's not good if they have resist UDK and they use it. Which is, uh, I think, probably picked more often against me than most other people because I'm picking Rodos in almost every battle. But okay, now we survived. It's kind of looking bad, but if we can survive like a few more minutes and Rotos can steal some HP, we can, we can definitely end this. But the issue here is that he does have the life harvest and my Dutch's health is gutted. I guess Rotos is gonna lose some max health too, but that's not the main issue. The main issue is if I can survive. We really needed a polymorph proctor. I think the next nuke from the Seekrun is definitely gonna do it. Ankara doesn't have any heals and Dutch is so low max HP that it's not gonna be able to tank it anymore even if it was full health. Okay, we, we lost it. No comeback from here unless we get like 200 million extra turns. Okay, <laughs> it's literally gonna be like 200 million. Couple extra turns is not gonna do it against Harriman UDK combination. If he didn't have Harima, we could totally still, not like easily, but it's possible that we could win it, but even if I kill it with A2 now, and I'm not gonna, but if I did, that I would still die. Okay, sucks to suck. We ha we had a pretty, pretty big loss streak now. Or like, you know, four battles and one win on the side, but... Not super nice. Maybe I'll do better tomorrow. I I have the mission to 
like too many arena battles, so I, I'll, I'll try to play as many arena battles tomorrow as well. Often I play live arena like uh, every other day, I haven't been doing it every day lately, but tomorrow I might even play it on multiple time slots if I'm able to. Okay, at least we got the first pick. <laughs> I think this is one of those bots from Panda 2, so probably this is like um, e easy battle actually. They have like, you know, in it's, it's taking a lot of time to think, maybe it's not the bot, I'm not sure, but they have good rosters, but they have very one-dimensional picks, so it's very easy to beat these bots if it's one of those bots. If it's a bot, we very good. And it doesn't seem to have mythical champions, at least not not like all of them, if he's opening with two voids. Okay, okay, it doesn't have mythics. And it picked UD, wrote us against UDK, so it's most certainly a bot. I wanna go with Mikage, but now, now we need a re reply over here. The bot is also gonna ban... <laughs> now we're gonna try harding this a little bit, but since it's a bot, it's gonna ban Armands, the other mice, like, if he had a second lock lockout champion that is faster than my Armands and this wasn't a bot, he would pick it and he would ban my Helicat and I wouldn't be able to beat it. But this way, I know he's not gonna ban the Helicat and he only picked one lockout, so we're gonna go for the Yumeko ban. Since we have the UDK, Rotos can't kill the Helicat and we can't lose it. Probably he has Polster too on. On maybe Dutch's, so even that is going for us. No? Okay, nobody's in Polymorph. Helicat and uh, UDK used to be a very devastating combo. I used to run it a lot back in the day, but it's just basically never never viable these days but you know it's super annoying when you can't even kill the helicat because UDK keeps taking the hits and because you have UDK in a very slow build but by the way if you're not super high up in live arena and you're not meeting out of mythics I totally recommend running that combination but when you have the slow UDK with helicat passive it's basically never gonna lose the block damage, at least never the defense buff, but it's pretty much gonna have the block damage the entire battle. And since it has the block damage, and it always ready, ready wrecks a hit on him, and Helicat counter attacks if somebody under the block damage is being hit, you're basically always counter attacking the entire battle. It just Helicat is so out of the meta right now that you're you're not really able to run this comp because there's so many buff troopers and block debuff champions that are the the main champions in the meta and many of them but if you can run this it's very powerful combination <laughs> when it used to be like viable and meta people used to get angry at me and message me all the time about it people used to hate helicat so much because <laughs> I kept using it and showing it on the videos and the other people like in the big arena class didn't like it at all. Some, some of them were literally literally like surrendering a battle in the lobby if somebody picked Helicat and then you know blaming me and like talking like trash to me or something like that and sending me the picture about it. And I, I was always telling them that if they if they don't want me to pick Helicat, then we can make a deal and 
they never picked Taros against me and, and then we we're square. <laughs> Basically they thought that Heligat is super starly and an annoying to deal with, which is true, and so is Taras and Maritska and many other things. I, I had this argument so many times, you wouldn't believe it. So many times people brought it up and complained about it to me. Hopefully we, we will get something something fun like that in the future meta. People used to complain about the Gala offense too. Like In those days Mortu and Rotos used to be kind of meta in defense. And when I started running Gala and making videos of it, Obviously many other people started doing it as well and it was to the point that it was kind of you know bad for mad because they were like random people were able to hit them and farm them and people some people were some, some people took it very personally and got kind of mad at me not like everybody but a couple drivers they got really mad about the gala meta I'm not sure if other people from other clans complained about Gala, they did about uh, Helicat, but at least two people in MAD got super mad about it. Well, the, the same people got mad about both Gala and Helicat, so... Uh, do I want to go with this? I really need to get some more Polymorph. Maybe we'll open with Dutchess and and then Narsus. I think we lost to this guy earlier today. I think he was running the same setup in, in that battle too. Aphidios. Not Aphidios. I keep saying it Aphidios and, and people keep correcting me. I mean Garnet, not, not Aphidios. Current is kind of good, not like OP, but if he goes first and he gets the devas up, then you are screwed. Which happens to me all the time and can't cleanse them, so it's kind of hard to deal with if you go second. I don't know if I want to pick Mika against uh, Marius. Actually, Maud would be super nice here with the passive, even, even if it doesn't work against the Garnets, of course. Double Reviver, Necrot. Let's go with Necrot instead. We have the Armands anyway. Obviously, Necrot buffs are gonna get stripped as well. But they have a long duration, so it's not gonna instantly remove them. I think we go for the Carnage ban. Th that must be a support Wukong Asum. Kind of surprised that he's not picking any revivers on the team. Seems doable, but I obviously have had Never this exact matchup. Drunk Heart I see sometimes, but not very often. And we do have two Nulkers, so we're gonna get some tennis against him. If we just had one, I think with Wukong Polymorph and the um, Emic, like. Uh, uh, unkillable. He could probably rotate it so that we can get tens, but I think this way we are gonna get tens. Should I? Let's save the well. No, no, let's do the well. Nah. He, he got everything. If I can get like uh, any turns on Narsus, it would be pretty good. 
I wanna ally attack the Marius now. But if he procs the counter attack, it could be very bad. Okay, that's good. No counter attack and we got the defense debuff. And we have both of the Nulkars protected. Almost got rid of the stone skin, but not yet. And he, now he's gonna get the unkillable. Okay, if, if Rodos gets a turn, does it get enfeeble now? We we can kill the UDK as long as we don't weak it. Come on, please no weak it. Ah of course, of course. Mm, that's not good. Now it's looking kind of bad. I feel like his own team would be would be super easy if I had Marius in my team. Wait, what? How does he still have that long uh, duration? Did he get the cooldown back? What? I didn't see. Did he get a refresh proc or what happened? Ah, got the Enfeeble on Narsus, I think that's it for the battle. If we didn't get the Enfeeble, it was almost looking doable, but I think it's over now. Eight, seven, two, tens. If I could get Polymorph on the Marius, but nah, not. Not happening. Yeah, okay, we, we lost it. Kind of close, I mean, it was totally winnable, but... I, I feel like today is an unlucky day. I, we're doing pretty good, but I think we're just, we're never getting lucky. Every battle, there's a chance to win, and that chance doesn't work our way. I feel like we could, we could have won almost every battle today. I, maybe there wasn't like any battles that were completely unwinnable. UDK or or Wukong. I kind of want to go with, with Wukong. Let's see what happens. He totally might have our base anyway, so picking UDK myself these days isn't bulletproof. Okay, he, he can still pick it, but he could be lock up pick lockout or anything else too. I kind of want to pick Dutchess though, since he got the Ankara. I hope he doesn't have lockout, but I'm sure he does. Well, maybe we can get the Narthus Polymorph, maybe we can still take it, but I'm pretty sure he has like lockout as the last, no, Arbiter, interesting. Okay, Narcissus or Arbiter ban. I'm not sure about this. I think we go for the Narcissus ban actually. 
that way I he I don't think he's gonna use the CV turn meter boost. Maybe he's only gonna use the Arbiter one. But we have Xena in stone skin anyway, so if he goes before us, even though Marius is gonna re remove the stone skin, but him alone is not gonna one shot our team instantly. So maybe it's okay if he goes first. Almost thought about banning Arbiter, but let's do it this way. Mm, yeah, I, I knew it. He was not gonna use the A2. I feel like he almost should have used it, to be honest. Now Mike Senna has a chance to survive it. And he did. I don't think he's gonna um, be happy with it. We don't have attack buff. I don't think I can kill them. I'll open with A2. It's gonna steal turn meter. It's not gonna kill anybody, I don't think. But if I can get another... Ugh. If I can get another turn on Xena, the next... Next nook is gonna hurt. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize we have Enfeeble on, on us. Otherwise this would have been... Okay, would have been game over. Which ones do we want to kill? Let's kill Ankara and Marius. But now we're gonna get the immunity buff on Xena, and she's gonna get the next turn. And I don't think we can lose it anymore. Damn, Xena is staying in the sleep forever, and I think she's like 240 speed. She's not the fastest, but it's not like she is slow. But she has, you know, double turn meter booster, and I'm sure they're very fast. I think Xena is gonna kill everybody now, right? We have attack buff, and we already did 1A2 and got 10% more attack. Let's see. Okay, see if he didn't die, but we definitely didn't get the Helm Smasher proc, but we did get multiple kills and she reset the cooldown of the A3, so next turn we're just gonna nuke again and there's no comeback. Wait, wait. No, you know, he can cut in with uh, Marius if... No, he didn't revive it. Interesting. Okay, we're, we're good. We, we have the immunity anyway, so I don't think Marius would have killed, it, killed us with the A1. I don't want to polymorph them anymore with Wukong, because I think we're just gonna kill them. Damn, Xena feels so slow. Holy moly. We don't have attack buff, but I think we're still good. Maybe not, but we should do damage. Okay, okay. I think that was the last battle of the day. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm super tired. I <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Good luck with the Harima pulls tomorrow if you're going with that. And I would recommend you guys to also consider the Supersonic Wukong or Supersonic Mario spills. I don't. I think those are gonna be good. And they are not super popular, so generally people are not going to expect those builds. Maybe you can get some surprise wins with them. I think especially the Supersonic Lethal Marius is going to be super good. But to do that, you're, you're going to need to have three protection accessories. That might not be very common, but if you have it, I would definitely try it. Anyway, that's it. Have a nice day and see ya.